time, we're going to take two stems and our new tin baskets that we have here. This comes as a set of three. It's a wall basket. So we're going to use it as a wall basket. So start with your handle so you can use the handle to hold it. Put the handle back behind you out of the way. We're going to take two pieces of pine that we've already cut off. Glue them in. Carefully bend them and chase. <laughs> Let's see how quick and easy that was. And already we've started this arrangement and two insertions. Let's count them together. Which insertion is it? Nice. Okay. This one will be? Four. Do it this way. And uh, when you set it forward, and tell me if it's not pretty or not because it's really facing you, not me. Then we take our weighted apples. Beautiful color. They really pick up the deep red black value that's in the point setup. And we're just going to add a few of the apples to it. I've already picked the apples with some of the stems that I cut off earlier. I use the stems not always do I use a wood pick. Wood pick works, but these stems are already the wired, so if you need to put it in and insert it. And you want to bend it, then you can bend it because they're already wired. So we have four stems. Four apples, and we've got we've got the claw basket that's turning out sort of night. And if you want to accessorize a little bit more, I took an apple and I poked a slight hole in it with the tip of my knife to get it to crack the shell like at the stem. Then I took a wire, not a cable tie, a wire, bend it in half and make a hairpin out of it. Dip it in the glue and then stick it down into that opening. Then you get a little wire. We can add our apples to our pine then. And this is this is what takes a simple little arrangement and adds it that little extra character. You can tie wire around it to disguise the wire. I'm just going to cut it off to save time here. You can finish it off with your, your apple on there however you want to. And we're going to do it again on another branch. Thank you.